Hey friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Web Dev. So we have seen the theoretical implementation of the simple request and the pre-flight request and the course and the same origin policy. These are all the concepts we have learned it, right? So we have learned so much of things. So now it's time for us to do the practical implementation. So how this access control LO origin custom header will be sent. This will be sent through the server. So the server is the only way how we can send it. Now let's try to see with this one with an Apache. So how we can send this one through an Apache server. In the node, you can directly use this response.set access controller origin and you can use the star which makes the whole world to access that thing without any problem. Or otherwise you can mention the particular domain name. So now we'll try to see it here. Here I'm having a main.html file, a new file, main.html. And I will be having a folder, API folder. And in this one, I will be having some sample text. Okay. PHT file. I'm trying to help uh, do this one. This is the sample text file data coming from the API. So this is just a sample one. Now, here, if you want to access it, so we have an Apache server, a ZAMP running, and localhost slash 81 slash course request slash sample.txt file so here you'll be able to see the data so now we need to call this api file or otherwise this api url through the ajax call with a cross domain so with a cross origin so this one is coming from localhost colon 81 we will be calling from the domain which is open through the live server which is a cross origin right so we'll try to access this one through the api fine so let's start this main.html so this is our main.html file. I am opening HTML. So here I will be having so div for simple course request. And here I will be having a button. Button get the sample data. Okay, this is a button. And at the bottom I will be having div id is equal to output. And I want to show the output here. Whatever the text data I am getting it from the sample file, I want to show it in this div. And here I can use something like text button. So now this one I am opening through the live server. So here I will be opening through the live server I am opening. Now we got the button here. So when I click on this button, what I need to do? I need to make an Ajax call to the API URL. This is the API URL. I need to make an Ajax call to this API URL. Fine. Let's try to check it. So now what I need to do here, I need to write the script code. In this script code, first let's get the button element. Button element is equal to how we can get it? Document dot get element by ID of text button. So we got the button. Now next we need to catch the output element so that we can output the text data which we got it from the API. So document dot get element by ID of output so we got the two elements now we need to add button element dot add event listener of click and we can write here like this so first we what you need to do i need to make a call so we know that url is nothing but so let's catch that url so this is the url right let's copy this url and here this is the url okay let's make a request so let request is equal to new request of url and the method what is the method i will try to make so it is nothing but a get request so if you don't mention it's also not a problem so this is the request so here fetch so i am trying to make a request fetch of request so let's send the request and i will get the response okay so if i get the response i need to if response is okay so how i need to write it here if response is okay so then i need to return response dot text why because we will get the text response so i got the text response if the response is not okay then what i can do i can throw the course error okay so else so not the course error sorry throw new so that you can catch it here no error something is wrong with the api response so something we can, we can write it and now we got the response dot text why because we know that it will return a promise and here we readable stream so we are converting that one and we got the then request so again we let's go to the then 
and I will get the text data. So in this text data, what I can do? Document, sorry, not document, output element dot text content. So normally you can use inner HTML also, it's not a problem. And I can write here text data. That's it. So we need to catch it, right? So we, we have we need to catch it. Dot catch of error. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Catch of error and console.log. So error occurred. And you can throw the error. That's it. So this is our total fetch request. So like this, we are trying to make it. I got the URL. I got I prepared the request. I'm calling the request. We know that the response, if it, the response is okay, means I'm converting that response to the text and I'm catching that one. If it, any error is there, there means if okay is not true, it's false means then I'm throwing an error so that it will be catched here so that it can be caught in the catch block. So here the dot then and come, I'm pasting, I'm rendering into the output element. So here, so let's try to see this one. So, so far, so good. Everything is working fine. I think it will work fine. So let's try to refresh this page. Yeah. I click on this one. See what, what is that? We have got it. Access to fetch. This is a cross origin request. We know that what is the meaning of the origin? It should have a same protocol. It should have a same host name and also it should have a same port name. So here protocol is same and the origin is also same. 127.0.7 or local is one and the same only. But the port name differs. So that is the reason this is, these are not same origin. And if you try to see here, get request and the request headers we are trying to send is nothing but origin we are calling it this one and the host you will be able to see that local host statement we are trying to call it and if i want to see here the response so why we got this error why we didn't get the request so why because we didn't get any error any response that axis control allow origin so that is not present so because of that reason so it has been blocked okay the axis control allow origin header is present is not present in this resource so now what i want to do here so we need to add it so this axis control allow origin header needs to be added from the backend or the, from the server so how can i add it here so this is our api file and here i can create through the apache right so this is an apache dot ht access and here i can use header set axis control hello origin and we can use the star or otherwise i can use this one http 127 i didn't remember exactly the name let's copy this one this one all right let's paste it here yeah so this is the thing which i wanted so now i start i saved it and if i try to see the output let's refresh this page and i am trying to click on this one Done. so we are able to get the data now the request we are able to make it so here in the response header we are able to see axis control allow origin it is for 127.0.1 so if i try to change this one to 501 so which is not for this one so now if i try to refresh this page and if i try to make a request sorry let's try to empty cache here and make a request here so if i try to click here see course error now we got the course error why because it doesn't have an access to this one it have an access to the 5501 but we are trying to make a call from the origin 5500 so that is the reason the browser is not allowing core error so or otherwise if you want to allow to all of the means so you can make it as a star so it will allow to all of them so now without any problem so if i try to refresh it and click and we now we are able to get the output so here access control allow origin star means it will allow to all of them so this is how we can make the we can set the headers access control allow origin so, so that we can have a course request okay so that the course is allowed hope you understood about this one simple course request how we can make it and how the headers we can change it in the node.js what you can do is response dot set uh, like this access control hello origin so you can use it origin and here you can allow the star like this so whenever you are trying to send the response so you can use it like this in the node.js so hope you understood about this one simple course request if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you